What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's been a long time since I make any of these videos anymore. Um, it's not that I stopped doing YouTube. I just want to say thanks again for all your support. But recently I've been busy with the vlogging channel, the vlog, the um, car updates. And let's just say that the hobby went from uh, sneakers, shoes, etc into a more sophisticated uh, hobby it's uh, you know car tracking the car building it etc and I mean if you're into that go ahead and follow my other channel I'm gonna try and put the link in the description down below so make sure you click on it you know when I created the, um, the channel I mean since I have one already I go with my name Kenny V Win but I could have done something else just so that you guys could uh, look it up easier anyways without further ado let's get into the shoe this is the red wing shoe um, casual or for workwear for me I'm just gonna go with workwear but I want something to last and I don't need a a, um, a hard toe or they call it steel toe so I don't need that cap so that's a plus but yeah it is what it is I got the 1907 uh, I was actually comparing this to the A75. Um, this is the six inches, you know, in case you're wondering. I've been just aiming for this shoe for like a long, long time. Uh, you know, for this whole week I've been in and out trying to see what is the best day to go and try them on. Finally got time today. So there's that. I'm super excited to show you guys try them on and start wearing them and breaking them out. But, like always, the traditional way to do it for this channel is just to keep it brand new, try them on, show you guys before I actually wear them out. So I was gonna go with the eight inches. Um, it's for a fact, you know. It's a it's a great shoe. Oh wow! And, and they, um, you know, it came with extra laces right off the bat, so that's good. Uh, but but yes, um, I was gonna go with the eight inches, but. Um, Due to the fact that they don't have my size, they do not have my size available at the store, so I would have to wait till Monday, uh, which is kind of kind of odd because I I, I kind of want a shoe just to wear already, you know, so I can start breaking them in. But anyways, this is the um, all the service and you know um, the rules and regulations that they have for the food. Uh, just in case you're not used to them, you, you do have to break them in uh, two to four hours a day. You know, um, do not wear it until your feet is sore. You know, uh, stuff like free laces, leather treatment, minor stitching, this and that. So there's that. Uh, I got a QC right here. This is made in the USA. Again, this is the 1905. Come with leather laces. Super dope. And the thing. And the, and the special thing about this, you can ask them for these hooks. I ask them for the top three, which is the easiest way you can uh, lay these these uh, bad boy up. But yeah, uh, I I always like the quick lace system on the on you know pair of high top, uh, you know let alone pair of boots. Um, but these are the 1905 mock. Oh, six inches red wing boot. I recommend going into the store, have them measure out your um, your feet. I'm a true eight and a half in Nike as well as uh, Vans. Um, but you do have to measure them. That way you get your true size in the boot. And each and every one of these boots fit differently. So please um, pay attention to that as well. But we got a leather insole. Trying to take it out for you guys. It's gonna be a bitch putting it back in. But I'm gonna remove them anyways, just so that I can put these up. I'm show you guys in the Onfeet 360. These are a dollar each, but I think you hook it up, you gave me one. It says Red Wing Shoe Company in the back. Made in USA. Cool add on. There you go. These uh, lace tab, whatever you wanna call it. On the insole of the uh, of the 1905 compared to the A75, besides the color differences, we have an added 
insole. Now this thing is like a, it's like a piece of leather on top as you can see. Super nice. You know, you got the red wing shoes logo with the wing. And it's not red. <laughs> it's like leather embroidery. Then we got um, you know perforated uh, sole uh, right there, insole, and then you got your pad on the other side of it, on the bottom side. This is how thick it is. They pay attention to the quality uh, very much so. This is 1907. 1907. I'm so sorry for my dumb mistake. I'm not a boots uh, guy. I only have a pair of Spark and a pair of Uggs for my girlfriend. But yeah. So um, on the tongue it says "Made in the USA." Um, yes, I got my stuff measured and I did got a size eight. Uh, the hopefully the camera can focus in anything right that I'm showing you guys right now is autopilot. But yeah. Um, Sorry if this review is kind of long, but I, I'm, I'm just excited. When I'm excited, I talk about it for ages, you guys. Um, so the A75 uh, doesn't have, doesn't come with one Zinzo, but you can break them in over time, and the leather on the inside gonna mold onto the uh, ball point of your feet, um, the toes, the ball of your feet, your heels, and everything. And uh, like, uh, you know, a lot of people add the uh, 2.0 insole to it. But they do not recommend that because um, there won't be enough room for your feet. So you need to break them in like a man they call it <laughs> without the insole. But yeah, um, uh, this I was debating between getting the uh, 8 inches or get the 6 but go with the um, with the heritage. This is a part of their heritage collection. Uh, surprisingly, I always thought Heritage is the original, but it is not. The original would be the um, 19, the A75 in, in that colorway. Um, you got a uh, a uh, whiskey kind of colorway, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this is different. This, this colorway is called Copper, and uh, it is a size 8B regular. So we got fun view of the boot. Right side of the right boot, back to the heels of it, left side, bottom sole. This sole is a wedge sole. I'm gonna show you guys my free runs real quick. Like I said, I'm gonna be wearing this to work. I work for about eight hours a day, sometimes six, but mostly eight, if not nine or ten. Get some overtime here and there. It depends on how it is. But I'm always on my feet walking around or sitting. Depends on uh, part of the day, you know, uh, some part I have to stand, some part I have to sit down. But yeah, um, the eight inches work really well. I really like it, but just again, I love the color as well. I don't it doesn't mean I'm hating on these. I love the uh, you know intro on this. I might come back for future reference. I might come back and grab myself a pair of eight inches with that colorway because I only make eight inches in the eight and five, uh, which I don't mind. And I might. Grab that for a casual look just to keep. But this, I was thinking to myself, okay, the three months only last for about six months to a year. Now, let me show you my free run real quick. This is super big up. Give me one second. This is my free run from um, my working at a you know, dental lab. And yes, look at it. This is from Caster. Plaster dust, all this gonna be on this. Which, which is okay, it's a pair of boots. And the leather, look at it, it's ripping. You got uh, super glue everywhere. On, and, and the sole is coming off, as you can see. Is that, and look, and as I touch it, the plaster is already on there. So it doesn't look too bad with my boots like this. You know? But uh, with this being authentic leather, you can clean them off, you can condition them, you can do whatever, put oil on them, just like a pair of crocs that I used to have. Now, that's all I can say about these boots. But, you know, everything is iconic, you got your wedge and the sole. They do resole them for $80 at the Red Wing store near my house, about 10 minutes away. Or you can send them back in to the, um, the Red Wing headquarters in Minnesota, and it's 110 now there's a reason for that, he said, because once you send them back in, it's gonna be 
everything is going to be original stitching and taken care of. Well, but you have to wait four to, to six weeks for that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens along the line. I have to determine whether or not if I do it at the store, do I always have to come back to it? Or I can choose to send it back whenever I can to the Red Wing headquarters. Because some cobbler, some cobbler, uh, cobbler will only work on a pair of boots that is done by them. If it's uh, done by other cobbler already, they wouldn't even touch it. They just the uh, you know, rule of conduct and that's they uh, stay the other way. Alright, I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna shut the hell up, put these on and show you guys the boots on the feet 360. Hopefully I'm gonna have a video of just, just a little tiny bit of this on the other on uh, you know the other channel. Thank you so much for watching once again and for your patience. I'm so sorry that I forgot to mention there is a slight slippage when you wear this boot. I was gonna say shoe. Uh, your heel is gonna slip a tinsy bit, but do not mistake that and get you know true size or half a size bigger, please, because it's gonna break in. As long as it's not super uncomfortable, then you're good. Right now, it's like it's bearable. It's stiff. It's bearable. Tinsy bit of slippage. I think it's good. All right, YouTube. I'm back real quick just to show you guys the boot on Fiat 360. So bear with me for one second. On the right, I'm gonna be keeping it regular straight. And on the uh, left here, I'm gonna have the double cuff. Now, uh, just to show you guys um, how, how tall the boot is, six inches. But yeah, I lace them up with the you know American flag uh, lace tag, lace tab, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, we got front view of the boot. Right side of the right boot. That's the bottom sole. Very comfortable. The way it feels right now is actually raw leather. Raw leather. Uh, you have to break them in. Uh, that's the only discomfort that I'm feeling. Uh, it's like wearing a, a pair, like a brand new pair of raw denim. That's the tight on you. And the break-in process uh, takes a bit. But in the end result, it's gonna be worth it. I was there, and if you follow me on Snapchat, you would see that I took a snap of it. Uh, this customer brought in that pair for a, a sole repair. That pair was from 1987 all the way till now. And it's like super soft, like, you know, the, the leather is just perfect and soft. And right now it's raw, so it was like, it's, you know, it's still stiff, but yeah. There you go. This is what the, the boots look like. So yeah. That's it YouTube. Uh, thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and or subscribe. Follow the other channel too. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Follow my other channel too. And um Go check things out. I'm gonna be on that channel a lot more. Ow. Cause I'm trying to build that channel right now. So yeah. And uh, make sure you guys rate, comments, and or subscribe. And peace out.